Actually, no, I'll play a Scotch. Scotch, also a good opening. We'll transpose it based on the last couple of moves. This is what we call the Scotch opening, the famous XQC opening with knight to f3 and d4. And the Oscar goes to Hikaru Nakamura. Uh, Karo Khan is on our list. We're going to play the Karo Khan. Let me check my score. What is my score right now? My score, this is three. So this will be 54. So I'll update, update the score to 55. Now, Bishop G4 and Bishop F5 are both playable here. I just want to pin the Knight, but both moves are fine. The counter is me manually doing it. Um, so I will just update it right now. Uh, where, where is the score? There it is. I'll just update it right now. So after this, it'll be 54. And then the next one will be 55. Let's go here, finish our development, bring the knights out. Things in which a GM Hikaru Sun for the for the uh for the for the get this up. Go back to school. Go back. Go back to school. Um let's play C5 here and play knight C6 next move. Um the knight C6, I can take the pawn uh, and play Queen D6. Anyway, um, all right. So let's keep going. Uh I can play Queen B6 here because there's a lot of pressure in the center of the board. How often do I lose? I mean, these games, it's it's very likely I'm going to win like 90, 90, 99% at this level. Uh, but it's going to start getting more interesting as we get deeper into the speed run. Who is the mom? I don't know. But I was with your mom last night. Um, so let's take, I can play queen a5 check or queen b4. Let's go queen a5 check um, and go from there. So let's see, but this is just winning. Anyway, we get the win. So that is, I believe 54. I'll double check with my, my actual official score. Okay. Let's go E4. Let's play. I'm going to take and play Knight F3, Bishop E2 again. Like it's just the safest way to play against the setup. If people survive the opening, I might I might actually explain a little bit more. But at this level, they still aren't quite surviving the opening. Now I'm playing Dvor because I want to fork him. Let's castle. Now I can play Knight C3 here, but because he hasn't put pressure on the pawn, I'm going to try to expand and push the pawn in the center of the board as quickly as possible to to harass the knight. So I will go knight c3, d5. I'm going to keep pushing forward. Botez already forgetting her prep. Oh, did the round start in Reykjavik? I will cover that later on a little bit. I'll cover that in like maybe 30 minutes, and then we'll play, play subs. I think that's a pretty good plan. Um, did, did the round start or not? So I pushed the knight back. Um, I think a, a more thematic way to play as a lower rate player is bring the bishop out here or here. Both squares are fine. I don't want to trade. I'm going to go here. I want to take the... Take, or, I didn't actually want to do it that way, but okay, let's check him or pin and check. Go check. Did not expect Mr. Hikaru to move to kick. Well, you guys as viewers should be loving it, as we like to say in, in the land of the big, big golden arches, because you basically, if you sub, I get 95% of the revenue out of five bucks. So I get $4.75 out of every $5, as opposed to Twitch, where you get an amazing $2.50 out of five. So that's the first thing. And then for the viewers, even if you don't sub, so like on Twitch, one of the big reasons to sub is to dodge them ads. And here on Kick, there are zero ads. So you basically, even if you don't, even if you don't, even if you don't have the money to sub, which is completely fine, um, you still can watch and have an ad for experience. So what more do you want? Holy sh Thank you so much to uh, Rajin for the raid. Uh, big shout out to Rajin. Hope hope your stream went well. I was actually watching a stream a little bit earlier. Um, and I remember back in the old days when, when I was when I was with TSM. Um, of course, he, he was on Twitch back then. But one of the good one of one of the people that I knew at uh, at TSM, they were they were huge on watching his his slot. So big shout out to Rashi. Thank you for the raid. My name is Grandmaster Ikaru. Um, I'm actually streaming something a little bit different. There are some aspects at times which can you can gamble a little bit. Uh, but we're playing chess here, so this is a game um, with slightly different different pieces and, and these things. But the goal is to win at the end of the day, um, and that's that. So. Big, big shout out to Rashi, and thank you so much for the raid. Hope, hope everything is good to everyone who's watching his stream. Thank you. Oh, I guess the difference is here, like, I, I am plus three. So I have this extra horse, so I'm plus three. 
which means I will win this. There's no like, there, there's no, there's no variance that's gonna make me mess this up. Like, I, I, I am just gonna finish this pretty easily. Let's take. Let's go check. I came in with a raid. Did you say you played poker? I played poker. Yes, I played poker. Um, the only big, uh, the only like really big gamble I did back in the day was I, I said this before, but I was in Monte Carlo some years ago. I was in Monte Carlo playing a chess tournament. I went to the Grand Casino there, and I did, I did put a thousand, um, a, a thousand euros. I put two of those purple bills down on, um, on, uh, on, on red. I think it was red. I bet on red. I was playing roulette. So I did that. I played some poker. I played blackjack as well in the old days, but blackjack is very, very weird for me. Cause there was a good friend of mine who I knew who basically was in Vegas and I was watching him. Actually, I wasn't watching. I didn't watch him, but I heard about this and he was basically playing for like 50,000. He was basically playing 50, 50 K every single hand of, uh, of blackjack. And it was like a little bit much, a little bit much for me, a little bit much, um, <laughs> at the time to watch that. Uh, counting cards, I can count cards, but um, it's, most places these days don't use. Um, they, they usually have an automatic shuffler after every single hand, so it's like I mean you can't you can't really do that anymore, unfortunately. What is a speed run? Well, a couple of years ago, I did um, I did a tier list where basically for people who are new to the game, beginners, um, we I made a tier list of openings that I thought beginners should play. So there are a lot of opening strategies that you can do in this game, and so I'm basing it off of that list. I already mentioned um, in earlier what that list is, but we're playing specifically based off of those openings. So there's some openings that you can't opening strategies you can't play or use if you're not at a certain level. So that should be said. But once again, a big shout out to uh, Rosh and thank you for the raid, man. You're the best. Thank you. What is my net worth? It's not 50 million. It's not 50 million. Actually, you know, one thing was, I, I remember I was watching Roshin earlier. It was a specific time there was a viewer who's like, man, he's like, you're, uh, you're, you're, you're like, you're basically, nothing is real. It's all fake, all this other stuff. And I thought, I thought his answer was really good where he's like, I've been streaming, I've been streaming for seven years. I've explained everything I'm doing. You watch for 10 minutes and you, you don't know anything. It was, it was pretty funny when I, when I heard that. Um, okay. So what am I doing in this game? So this game is, Again, very slow at the start. It's going to get explosive pretty soon. Uh, number one kick streamer right now. Thank you so much. When you close your eyes, do I see the pieces? Actually, when I close my eyes, I almost never think about the, about chess. Like, I, I, I play so much chess. Um, in my life, I'm guessing... I don't even want to guess the total number of hours. It's probably like 30,000 hours or something ridiculous. Um... Where, uh, where where I, where I play chess but I don't actually dream about chess but sometimes when I have a really bad beat like when I when I'm when I'm like completely winning and then something goes wrong I do have nightmares very briefly it does happen I'm a YouTube follower never had twitch account just signed up to kick to watch you thank you so much yeah it's a great experience what can I say no ads what what more can you ask for no ads so it's all good we can calculate how many hours I don't know am I into fitness uh, I, I have been at times in the past, um, not like right now, not so much. Um, I usually just go out and walk. I, I like, I listen to like a podcast for like an hour and just like walk a couple laps or sometimes I run a few miles depending. Um, but I, I like weights and that stuff. I never really was big on that. Let's go B4 here. Yeah. Fitness in yo something. Yes, exactly. Yeah. XQC started following kick on Twitter today. It means something. Uh, here's a night. That's a free night, no? There's the pony, yeah. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but I, I, I will say this: having, um, I mean, ha knowing a little something about about train and everything. I mean, of course, the way word it was definitely uh, colorful, shall we say? But I don't think he's making it up. I don't think he's making it up where it's going to be something like, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. It's going to be something where it's like. Uh, I don't want to say any streamer's name because that's that's insulting. But I don't think he's making it up. I suspect it's a, it's pretty serious. Uh, let's just trade here because I have an extra night. Welcome to the new norm. Hikar has been trailblazing for years and grinding streams to help bring money to top chess players. I think it's great. I mean, I think it's that's another thing that I'm really excited about being on Kick is that there's an opportunity for for some of the, like these streamers who haven't like quote unquote made it in chess to get some exposure. Also, uh, separately from that, I would I would add that I think it's that it's pretty messed up that yesterday I played a chess tournament on, online on the site chess.com where I finished in second place. I didn't win the event, but the guy in first place, since it was a streamer event who won, he's streaming on Twitch. So he actually got less money than I did. I got 50 gifted subs and he got 75. 75 gifted subs on, on Twitch at, at 250 a pop. I can't do math. It's like 185, I guess like 185 right and and 50 50 is what that's 250 so i got like 237 and a half i think if my math is right 
um that's pretty messed up pretty messed up i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna take i sacked a rook oh no but i have a fork here i have a fork with a knight i i a fork is where a knight is basically gonna attack two things so you're gonna lose one thing um do you think train counts you as one of six i don't know um my gut if i'm being truthfully honest is that i would think no but i, I don't know i don't know go here thanks so much to fox link for the sub thanks so much to fox link appreciate it um i'm trying to checkmate with the rooks here one thing in chess is rooks are these powerful pieces but only on open lanes so there's nothing else here so it's on this open open files we call it in chess or it's very good but like this rook is bad because he has the pawn the pawns in the way the rook can't move so you want the open open files for the rooks so you won the tournament because you shroom on kick basically yes to, to make a long story short yeah i did i did so it's, it's pretty yeah pretty wild um we go check knight guards the queen and we've checkmate in one yeah so this is checkmate because king has no squares queen guards the rook game over we keep keep running through running over everybody how do i know this is a really car not ai because i just responded to your question um now on our list of openings the caro con is on there i'm gonna play the siciliano opening and honor all the italians who are watching did, did kick that get doctor disrespect i don't know but i would love to do a stream with doctor disrespect i'd love to do a, a chess chess slash warzone stream with him i would love to do that i would love to do that especially after what happened um as everybody knows uh, i i covered a game of chess that he played against dr lupo on youtube i just literally watched it for like for like five minutes one game and twitch was like no bam 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 get banned um which to me is like the epitome of of pettiness um let's take the bishop here i have an extra bishop extra pawn doing really really well put a fork on your put put a fork on your head to prove you're really not an ai yeah am i good at pool too uh yeah actually when i was in st louis uh for the chess tournament last week i was playing playing pool every night but unfortunately the place where i went to play pool since it was like a airbnb they didn't have a full pool table so we were actually playing not i was playing nine ball and then when we had multiple people we were playing uh this game called cutthroat where you group the balls in multiple multiple ways so i'm gonna take and play 95. um but yeah i i've uh, i've played quite a bit of pool we're playing nine ball primarily though um i'll play here training pieces early not good unless you're ahead right now if you do the count pawns are worth one knights and bishops are worth three rooks are worth five queen is worth nine king is worth uh infinity basically king is the most important piece because if the king gets stuck you lose the game if the king can't move you lose except if it's not checking that's stalemate but that's a separate separate issue um let's take my ban on twitch no no but i was banned i was banned for showing a doctor disrespect game uh for like five minutes which just like yeah yeah so okay i think i go check and i hit the knight i hit the king and i win this because he had to he had to save the king the king is worth infinity so you can't lose the king uh i can't capture it but now i just capture the pony I was seven when I started playing chess, which by stand by today's stands for just about everything is ancient. Everybody starts playing chess at much very young ages. I mean, it's because frankly, everybody, every kid knows how to use an iPad when they're like one year old. So when I was growing up, um, when I was growing up, it was like I started at seven because I, I, I mean, I didn't even have a phone till I was like thirteen. Like it's ridiculous. So yeah i started at seven yeah. whoa thank you so much to the steiner thank you so much to the steiner for the gifted subs thank you so much to the steiner appreciate it thank you so much to the steiner so much thank you um for the uh for the 30 i think it's 32 it shows 32 on the list of gifted subs thank you so much to the steiner really do appreciate it. thank you so much it might be 30 but any any rate uh this is what we call a battery where the queen and the bishop connect and the king actually can't go anywhere so this is checkmate because here the bishop is guarding the queen king can't capture king can't go to any other square because i just eat the king with my queen i just take it so it's, when the king can't go anywhere and you're going to capture next move that's checkmate so let's keep going next game let me update the uh let me update my score by the way because i think that was number 60 if i'm not mistaken let me check the scoring i'm manually doing it let's play uh there's no malta opening is there there's no malta opening for rostein i think that's where he is um but like italy's close enough to malta right kind of kind of so i'll keep playing the siciliano i'll keep playing the siciliano yeah and now we play this anybody who's a big on constellations or astral constellations and studying the stars this we're gonna have a, a, a draco formation here with these pawns this is what this is this constellation draco which you can see in the night sky unless you live in somewhere where the sky is polluted because we we love to pollute the atmosphere and everything else along the way 
let's go bishop g7 attack the pawn here i have 57 that is correct um let, let me let me just update it to 50 58 because i'm gonna win this game um i can play e5 bishop g4 is this a new record of course it's a new record temporarily but again you guys um just big shout out to everybody big shout out to train to Rashin, everybody um they've been pretty nice so i'm happy i didn't show the ring oh so you guys want to see my ring i can i can show you my ring so this ring is one of a kind if it, if it will show you get out of pictures of your guy um there you go does it show uh, it doesn't show clearly um it doesn't show let me find an image I'll, I'll, I'll find you guys an image um let me find an image a, an old image because my ring is a one-of-a-kind ring I could actually sell it um I, I could actually sell it for a good chunk of change because th there was a club in St Louis they held the U.S chess championship they still hold it and for winning it you get a ring along with 50,000 bananas uh also known as 50,000 USD with Benjamin on it with uh, 50,000 uh Benjamins so that's what you get um but yeah so like here is this old image let me open this image is this one the CC yeah is this the old one or not let me see I'm trying to see if I can find the old image because they, they basically they had to change their image uh since Coco Chanel was gonna sue uh the chess club and so they, they changed their, their image so I'm trying to find if they, if I can find the old old image um trying to find the old image if I can find it somewhere they probably deleted it so that Chanel doesn't see it anywhere um but basically there are two interlocking C's on this ring so it's a one-of-a-kind ring when I won the U.S chess championship i.e the best player in the United States um some years back okay I don't want to get too long time here so if I do I'm gonna actually lose thank you so much to Steiner for the five gifted subs thank you so much to Steiner let's go faster I gotta go quicker yeah it was fifty thousand fifty thousand uh dollars I mean I could sell this ring for sure but it's such a such a keepsake for me yeah it's all good um okay we, we gotta go gotta go fast gotta go fast uh let's just take 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 it's all good love for the Steiner yeah yeah you're now on kick so very glad I'm enjoying it so far it's been great and for anybody who wants to be a viewer Andy I'm here to be positive uh as much as I can and it's actually great in some ways like I know everybody's like viewer Andy viewer Andy you don't have 20,000 like you did on Twitch blah 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 but sometimes when the when it's a little bit of a smaller audience you actually you can interact more sometimes I actually feel like it's better that way I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna try to trap his bishop at some point no everyone's been really nice I mean again it's like it comes back to everything like th things were Steiner for the five gifted subs like it, it comes back to something else that I would I, I would say which is um you know it's it's like read read or listen to everything that is said don't just listen to like five seconds or read some like headline on in an article and decide that that's that's the reality actually Rothstein said this too it's like you know you've got your own reality based on watching for like 10 minutes it's the same thing like when you see news or you see like the, these headlines and everything don't just read it for like five seconds like, okay that's it I, my mind's made up everything's done that's it that's how it is that's got to be reality um at the end of the day though um it's like you see you see these negative stories about kicking yeah there are things with moderation etc but they're gonna get fixed eventually you know no no site was perfect at the start just look at twitch also known as justin tv i mean that was like the wild west for a very very long time so i i mean i i, I don't know i'm enjoying it and I, I feel like everyone's just like they're so quick to be like yeah kick is is so terrible this and that things were steiner for the 10 gifted subs pass three car needs to be thing yeah yeah it's just it's one of those things where i see it's like i mean yeah they're new they just started out it's four months what was 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 twitch perfect after four months no of course it wasn't um so I just I don't know I I I, I don't know yeah so thanks for Steiner for the gifted subs appreciate it uh let's play here in rook b4 would I sell my ring for a thousand dollars no I wouldn't I'd probably sell my ring for fifty thousand dollars one thousand bucks for this such a good memento thank you so much uh to toe raise for the uh for the uh tier one things are split before and take now here the problem is my man has a bishop that's just like doing nothing it's on the wrong side of the board it's not in the game at all I'm gonna take the pawn twitch was twitch was Justin TV yes uh now I've check King's gotta go or I capture it and then I capture the tower capture the tower and the rest will be pretty straightforward whoa thank you for the Steiner for the 20 gifted subs thank you so much to the Steiner appreciate it thank you man you're the best thank you I'm just gonna start pushing also in Chester's what we call the upgrade machine 
where you basically can upgrade your pawn if it gets to the very last row. So my pawn's gonna get to the last row and I'm gonna upgrade it to a queen or a rook or any, anything else that I so, so choose. I'm going to the E4. I will play, let's play a Danish game because da D Danish is another opening that you can play. Actually, no, I'll play a Scotch. Scotch, also a good opening. We'll transpose it based on the last couple of moves. This is what we call the Scotch opening, the famous XQC opening with Knight to F3 and D4. Steiner's gonna beat Eddie, maybe he will. So we're gonna play the Danish. Whoa, thanks for Mrs. Steiner for the 10 gifted subs. This is what we call the Danish Gambit, where I gambit these pawns in the center, but I get fast development for the ops. So he's got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of his basic, of the more important pieces that aren't developed. And my bishops are already very, very powerful. My knight is out. My bishops, my knight are out, my pawn's out. My king's gonna castle. This is very, very good. I just castle, and again, just no development. All his, all his uh, forces are very passive. Now I just win the tower, and I win the game. Yeah, thank you so much to Steiner. A lot more viewers compared to yesterday. I mean, we're just, you guys, it's not about, it's not about the viewership. It's about building a community. That's really, you know, at the end of the day, that's another reason I was very excited. It's like, when you, when you start over fresh, like, it can be scary on one hand, but you also have a chance to start over and basically do the same kind of thing you did before on Twitch. And that's like, that, that, I mean, that is kind of exciting. Thank you so much to Steiner for an additional 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much to the Steiner. He still can't take with the pawn because then I capture the king. Queen captures, I take. So now I'll go here. The two bishops, the knight, very good. Now I bring this tower into the game and I, I give up the, the tower for the queen because the queen is worth more. Tell Steiner to stop? Huh? It's a free world, dude. It's a free world. Thank you so much to the Steiner. Or, yeah, thank you so much to the Steiner. So, it's all good. Yeah, I think probably for Kick, I, I, I hope that they get the, the get it up on Android pretty soon. That's what I hope. I hope that I hope they get uh, they get the Android up soon because that's going to be really big for people outside the U.S. I think for watching more because I think right now most people who, who who watch are probably in the U.S. and I feel like in the U.S. Apple maybe I'm wrong but I think Apple's much more it's much more common in the U.S. Right? I feel like outside the U.S. a lot more people use Android than Apple.